Let's do some New Year's organizing and cleaning. But first, hello friends, I'm Lauren and I live in Alaska with my husband Mark, our four boys, and our cat Luna. Together we will shop, cook, adventure, and do life in the great state of Alaska. We can't wait for you to be part of this Alaska life. It's so hard. It's a little bit hard. Mark, can you help me a little bit? Yes, I can. <laughs> I love you. All right, we got a letter from New Jersey, which means one more state. And a letter for Bennett from Vanessa and Sarah in Australia. She sent one to each of the kids. This is the last one to arrive. Master Bennett Ham, he'll be excited. He was wondering when his was going to arrive. And then we got one from Summers in Alaska. How fun. Another YouTube channel here in Alaska up in Fairbanks. Thank you, Nicole. You must've heard my plea for people to finish our map for us. All right, I'm getting a little drink. We're gonna sip and organize, I'm heading home. If I'm being honest, I have been kind of just a little down the last couple days. I don't know if it's like that post-holiday slump and trying to get back into a routine, but I just feel the need to organize. So I was gonna maybe go do some shopping today with you guys, and then when I thought, you know, Everett's gonna be out of the house, what I really wanna do is organize. <laughs> so I'm getting this drink, and then we'll head home, and we'll get started on the playroom. First order of business is going into the Airbnb. We had guest checkout this morning. We have new people coming tomorrow, so I gotta go start the laundry, and then I'm gonna head into the playroom and get working on that project. I really don't think these guests were here very often. They just like didn't use very much stuff. All right, here's the playroom before. I'm gonna be cleaning, but more importantly, I'm going to be organizing, which always tends to get worse before it gets better. Keep that in mind. And secondly, I'm going to focus on this room for hopefully just today, but if I don't get it done, I'm gonna stay in this room. I think sometimes people do like a declutter a hundred things in my house and they take like two things out of this room and two things out of the next room and two things out of this room. And then they have a bag of stuff that they're donating or trash but then they don't see any noticeable difference in their house. My best tip for you, if you're wanting to do some organizing, is to focus on one room, one closet, one drawer, get it really good, and then move on to the next thing. Ooh, getting a little passionate there. And then move on to the next thing so that you feel the progress, you feel the change in your house, instead of just picking and choosing a couple things from around the house and then never feeling a change. Unfortunately, the first item of business is to roll this up so I can take it back. This, as you can see, is not holding air. It came with a hole in it. It was there when we first put it out. We had already actually wrapped it up once, but Bennett wanted to play with it one more time, so he rolled it back out and has just been pumping it back up. But we're returning it to Amazon. Hopefully we can get another one. This one took months to arrive, which makes it even more sad because we just know a new one will not come um, very quickly. But I don't even know if I'll order this brand again because the hole is right here where it was like folded. And it looks like, honestly, if we kept it, there's like, it's just been folded for too long. It compromised the plastic and there's holes along this where it was folded. All right, that folded up better than I expected on that second try. But man, I'm like sweating now. All right, I got 
got the QR code to take with me when I go pick up Everett. I'm gonna drop this off. Let's go put it in the car. All right, this is the first cabinet that I want to tackle. This is all our homeschool stuff. Homeschool stuff. I really want to take everything out of that cabinet over there and move it into here. So this is, can be like the art supply cabinet. I have an hour and 15 minutes before I have to go. Hello, Luna. You gotta come check out what mama's doing. Yeah, you always have to make sure you know what's going on, huh? Yeah. Hi, sweetie pie. the best pieces of advice I can give you when doing an organizing project is to set a purpose for the space before you organize it. The purpose for this closet was homeschool and games. So it served that purpose really well for a long time. But over the last six months, we haven't been doing homeschool. So this has just not been functioning for our family. Its new purpose is games and arts and crafts. So with that purpose in mind, I can easily say, yes, this fits in here or no, it needs to find a new home. So if you set a purpose for your space, like my pantry, the purpose of the pantry is to quickly and easily be able to find what I need to make meals for my family. I'm not gonna start shoving other things in there as storage if it doesn't fit that purpose. That always helps me keep things a bit more organized. So arts and crafts, game closet. Let's do it. Before I can organize the closet. Oh, Luna got up in there where I just took a basket out. Hi, sweetie. I need to take out all these baskets and organize them because they are also left over from homeschooling. And so we just have kind of been throwing things in them and they have not stayed organized. So that's the next step is to organize all these baskets and declutter them, get rid of stuff, put stuff back in the right spot. Got this. Okay, the realization with these baskets is that I don't have a lot in them. They're just a few things that need to kind of find a home, but I'm gonna put them, I have some ideas for what I do wanna store in them and I'll gather it from around the house. But for now, I just have a lot of empty baskets, which I'm okay with. All right, this is the next cabinet to tackle. This cabinet's purpose is reading books, mom and dad's books, and toys on the bottom two shelves. So we gotta clean this up. I never know how to organize books for kids. What's the best way? Tell me, what's the best way? I usually just go through them every couple months and restack them, but. All right, right now I am just organizing them by chapter book, activity books, picture books, and then if it's part of a series, like this is book 11, I'm gonna make sure all those books get put together. And then I'm gonna add these books in when I'm done. These are some awesome drawing books. I'm gonna put them over here in this craft cabinet because I think that would be a good place for them. All right, got all the books out. I'm gonna clean these shelves off. This is a book I wrote in college to make these cute little illustrations with paper. Isn't that cute? It's like a collage for a music class. You had to take an old song and then illustrate it. Pretty impressed with that. 
with all my little pictures. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, here's the originals. See, I like cut out each piece and then I scanned them in. I have all the originals back here. I need to do something with this. But that is cute. I did a good job. Elementary education. <laughs> Projects. I like a project. I like a good project. I also, let me see if I can find it. When I was teaching school, I taught tall tales and I challenged the kids to write an Alaskan tall tale. And I wrote a, an Alaskan tall tale called Hunter Mountain Ham. I think Hunter was like a couple months old when I went back to school and was teaching this. So I wrote it about him. And, you know, it's a tall tale, but I, uh, I think he's like, it's about him hunting and fishing. You guys, he was literally like six weeks old when I wrote this. Oh, I just, oh my goodness. But um, let's see, April, 2010. He was born in January, 2010. So he was January, February, March, four months old. But you know what? He is living up to this. I've actually written sequels about Bennett and I think Weston, they're on my computer somewhere. One day I would love to have them all. Um, published, even just self-published, have somebody that's good at art illustrate them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I could do this paper art. I did pretty good. Anyways, I would love to one day make this into an actual book for him. It's a tall tale about fireweed. Maybe I'll read it to you guys sometime. That would be fun. Okay, so Hunter has some shelves in his room where he keeps um, chapter books, but this is empty down here and there's a shelf in there. I think I'm gonna fill this with chapter books because we just have so many picture books now. I also want to go up to Everett's room, bring some of those picture books down and put some new picture books up in his room because, you know, it's kind of boring reading the same thing all the time. Always give things a deep clean when you're organizing. It just makes it, like just the cleaning part makes everything feel a hundred times better. Don't skip that step. For now, I just did them by size, kind of. This first set is like comic books and yearbooks and just kind of activity books for the kids. And then all the picture books I just did kind of roughly by size. Chapter books up here for now. I'm gonna move some chapter books into Hunter's room. Yeah, so that's good. That's a good start. I told you, some parts get better, but mostly it looks worse before it gets better. That means you're doing it right, in my opinion. <laughs> I have to make a big mess to be able to make it function and look pretty at the end. All right guys, I'm headed to lunch with my girlfriends that I never got to see during the Christmas season. So I put together a little gift box for each of them, or gift bag. I give them each one of these shortbreads, different flavors. Christmas candle. I know it's a little bit late. And then one of these awesome soaps that I got at Costco this week. So, and then this is a thank you gift for someone that watched our kids. So I'm putting those together. Throw a couple of these, you know, Hawaiian chocolates in there. Cause those are fun. Oops, I think I forgot this bag. I doubled up on that bag. All right, let's go to lunch. That's the main reason why I took Everett to the babysitter because I can shop with him. I can kind of organize with him around. <laughs> He's usually making bigger messes behind me than I can keep up with, but I don't love going out to eat with him when I want to have a good conversation with my friends. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go back to that fried rice express that we went to last time. I'll try and show you guys our lunch. All right. I love how empty this place is, and it's right next to the UPS store. So after lunch, I can go return that big box that I packed up. Gotta grab, gotta grab all my bags. I'm gonna feel like Santa. All right, we made it home. Lunch was wonderful. I didn't take a picture of it. I dropped off that box. I went and picked up 
Who's here? Me. Everett, come show them your creation you made. It yes. goes. It goes all the way up to his belly button. Wow. Oh, uh oh. oh. It needs a bigger one of these. Okay, you better go find a bigger one, okay? I need another one. I need another one. Why don't you take it with you into your oh. bunker? Help. Oh, and Luna came to make sure we're on. Check out the progress, yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep working. Got this whole bit of stuff that I brought from upstairs that needs to find a home. All right, the next thing I'm tackling is the toy bins. I'm, they've just gotten all mixed up, so I'm just putting things back where they belong. Some are gonna go down in the basement. I find that if it's overwhelming to me to pick up, it's going to be very overwhelming to a small child. So it needs to be parred down after the holidays. Okay because it's kind of connected to that room. I'm going to work a little bit in here. This is Everett's little playroom under the stairs. I made it when we did homeschooling. He uses it sometimes, but I'm just gonna clean it up. And then these need to go down in the basement for the last of the Christmas stuff. I actually found it really nice to have one box left out for Christmas because I'm finding little bits and pieces and I'm just putting them in there as I find them. So instead of having to worry about putting everything into the basement right away, just been adding to that box because you know there's little things that just seem to float around forever. So the stuff that goes in here is the little kitchen stuff, baby stuff, baby doll stuff, kitchen stuff, and the big Legos. Those are the only three things that I keep in here. Now when we have other kids come over and play, other things end up in here, which is totally fine. But those are the three things that I keep under the stairs forever to play with. And this is my baby doll and my baby doll stuff from when I was a little kid. My mom kept that, so I got that out whenever it was showing interest in having a little baby to play with. I think it was around Christmas time last year. He loved the baby Jesus in the nativity play. All right, that was quick. Oh, here's a couple more things. What is this? What did he say? One big thing. You? Yeah. Oh, you're in my way? Yeah, your boy toy. <laughs> Don't include that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cute Santa picture I just found last year. It was in this hutch here. So cute. That was 2020. And Santa was behind plexiglass. Rockin' Junior. Mm -hmm. I think Junior's a little cold. You probably should put his blanket over him. Oh, yes, I'm blanket. Aw, so nice. I need to wrap him up. Mommy, I have to wrap him up. Sure. Like this. <laughs> I'm making my phone. A throne? Yeah. This is called a swaddle. We're making my throne. Can you hold it like this? Aw, so good. Hey, so cool. I love you, Junior. Yes, I knew it. I smelled it. You smelled the gummy bears? <laughs> 
Those are those good Costco gummy bears. I know. Do you know what the Alba one? Albanese or something like that, whatever they are. Junior can't eat them. Mm -hmm. Just, just. You can pretend them. Isn't that like the law of cleaning a room? I cleaned that up and immediately he wants to play with it. Everything I've cleaned up, he's like wanted to play with after I clean it up because it just feels fresh and new and fun. All right, the last thing for me to clean out of this hutch is stuff that's in these drawers. So I'm getting through these. This is all from homeschool. And then I've been using it for masks for the kids, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this unless I can find somewhere else in the house that we need it because it, we have no use for it in this room anymore, so. My kids did some beautiful work in homeschool. We have some really nice stuff. Here's one from Bennett. Here's one from Hunter. We did a nice job. All right, it's 420. The sun has gone down. It's still a little bit light out, but Hunter started cross country skiing with his middle school today. I'm back to doing the pickup um, in the afternoons for him. Mark is home. He came home early for, um, tomorrow is Russian Christmas and a lot of people at his work celebrate Russian, Ortho or Russian Orthodox and so they re celebrate Russian Christmas. They celebrate Russian Orthodox Christmas and so um, his boss closed the office early today and so he came home and he, he's great. He was working on, he played with Everett and then he went in and was cleaning the Airbnb. So very helpful. He's got some fun things planned for tomorrow. Hopefully he um, is planning on going out with Everett on an adventure, which means I can continue this organizing <laughs> journey that I'm wanting to go on over the next few days. All right, friends, here's where we're at after day one. It still looks kind of messy, but the bag of donations. This is looking really neat and clean. We've got games and then toys that like need help from mom and dad. I put these six baskets here. They have crayons, papers, pens, coloring books, drawing books, and then like maps, geography, multiplication workbooks and stuff, just in case the kids ever want them. And then crayons, and then this one's gonna have science stuff in it. Just random stuff to play with, like thermometers and magnets and stuff. I have some stuff to gather up from around the house for that. Don't really need anything down there right now, so that's nice. And then I got this so far, some toys, the books, and then up here is chapter books and then learning to read books that I like to keep all together. Then the top is all like picture albums and cute little baby books. Cute little Bennett. Hunters. Westons. I know Everett has one too. Oh, but I've never put his picture. That is definitely not Everett. I realize I haven't done a lot in this. I probably need to no photos hmm poor fourth child hunters is like Mine. busting out so is bennett's yeah this is yours or this is hunters cute baby This looks like a good Sunday project for me to go through these and see if there's any extra like new information I could add to any of them do you think I could fit that on right now? No, don't take it out. It's snow shut schools on the day he was born. Ooh, there's no snow. He's in the NICU. We got to take him home finally. Yay! I like that picture. Though.
Oh, I forgot I put these in there. Those are all those. You should look at this one. Oh, his broken arm. Yikes. That was my favorite day ever. All right, Bennett and I are just doing a quick cleanup and then we'll finish this project tomorrow because nothing can really keep going in the evenings. We got a lot to do. Homework, Mark wants to take the kids swimming and dinner. Alright, I'm not completely done, but thanks to some help from kids, Hunter's taking that out to my car. Phase one is done. That phase one is done, but this is not moved. Oh. That's not going here. This is not going anywhere. I'm going to put it over there under Weston's. No, I want to see it. All right, one thing that I am doing, I chose to do, is I have an empty book. This is what I usually use to do my recipes. And several of you have either emailed me or sent me recipes. Banana bars, Mexican lasagna, Swiss steak, sloppy joes, Oreo balls, and cranberry salad. So I am making my own binder of things you guys have sent me so that when I think, oh, I wanna make that, I know exactly where to find it. Thank you to all of you that have sent me recipes after we've had some sort of discussion. Oh, yummy. Many happy face stickers and star stickers did William buy? Happy face and star. Happy face and star. This is a fork spoon. So you don't need a regular fork? You're covered? I have this. A spoon, fork, knife. You love those? I love these so much! I love, I, <laughs> thanks dad. So what do you do when it's Not negative eight outside? What are we doing? Swimming! Swimming! You want to go swimming? Yes, I say go swimming. We are at a local high school so that we can go swimming. The boys are going to test out some of their new free diving equipment. And I am just here to watch. I just, I'm not in the mood to swim tonight, but I am here to see them go off the diving boards and dive down and play in the water. All right, I'm liking this idea more and more. It is so warm in here. It feels great. I'm, I'm glad I came to sit and watch.
Southwesty. tired after that it is a school night still so uh, hopefully they'll head home and probably want a little snack after all that swimming but then go to bed um, thank you so much for coming along today I hope that you enjoyed it and I'm sure there'll be more organizing videos coming up real soon if you enjoyed that you can kind of see the befores and afters as we go through the house over the next month or so thank you so much for being here I'm so grateful we'll see you soon bye bye